defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? All right, so starting in the 2021-2022 NBA season, the NBA changed from Spalding to Wilson for their official basketballs. You will see why I said this later in the video. But the other thing I found interesting was the NBA doesn't use a new basketball every game. The ball is handed to the officiating crew before every game and simply gets reused. Interesting. It is also kept in proper condition unless a player asks to keep it. And NBA game balls are subject to an extensive review process. Think about that, an extensive review process before they're used in an NBA game. And furthermore, it says after the final buzzer during the season, the three balls selected for use in an NBA game will be returned to the equipment store of the home team for general use in practice and drills. Peep that number, three different basketballs. Now in this next section, there's a YouTuber by the name of Jams Plethora that uh, goes into the specs of the basketball and mentions how there is digital technology. Go subscribe to this channel. They have some good content out there. You read that right there, but then you go down here and it shows features and specs. So the specs here are pretty much the same as the ones on Spalding. So it shows you that. Ships inflated, all that kind of stuff, right? So you go back, but you go to the features and it pretty much shows you all that. But I want to pay no I want to note this right here. If you look here, it says the NBA game ball one is the closest to what is used by the pros every season. However, basketball is used for NBA games, may have unique specifications, digital technology, and or stricter quality controls or tolerances. So I want to pay note to take notice of digital technology. So a lot of people have questioned as of lately. And I've seen this come become a lot more prevalent of a question. Are there magnets inside of the basketballs? Do I think so? Yes, definitely. Because I've seen after that Kawhi shot against the Sixers in 2019, I had no choice but to believe it. Because Now, if you remember from my magnetics and football video, how they put a transmitter inside the football, look what Wilson is able to do with the technology in a basketball. Now, what I'm finna show you is not the official NBA basketball, but it's from the same brand, uh, Wilson that makes the official NBA basketball. Also the same ones that make the official NFL football. And we've already seen the magnetics with the football and the gloves. So you gotta ask yourself, would you really put it past Wilson to do this with an official NBA basketball? Especially when you factor in all the money wrapped up in sports betting. Because remember, this is a sports entertainment business. We have a basketball. A very smart basketball. It's very Some would smart. say the smartest basketball you've ever seen. Somewhere inside of this ball, it's a Wilson X smart basketball. It has something in it that talks to your devices that helps you learn how to play basketball. So the way that this one works is it gives you 20 seconds on the clock. And so for every two point shot you make, you get a certain number of seconds, like five seconds added to it. For every three pointer you make, you get like eight or nine seconds added to it. And so you can just keep playing. Like you could play this all day long, but your clock is gonna run out the more shots that you make. thinks that the actual actual chip is right here in this spot. And it makes sense because on the other side, there's the air side of it, even though it has the Bluetooth logo. But this is where it must be. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, is this it? That's you think that's it? Yeah, it, it has to be. I still don't know much more. When I was throwing this up earlier, the ball, it felt like it was a little bit lopsided. It seems like that's heavy one. enough to make it wobble. Oh, yes. What's inside of this sensor that's inside of the Wilson X ball? Oh. Is what is it liquid? Oh, it's a oh, battery. It's having a baby. Okay. Whoa! What? I wonder if it moves inside that little capsule. When the ball spins, it can sense the rotation of it. That is interesting. And on this top side, it looks like it's the battery, like right there. Yeah. You just gotta have something to get that RFID chip. So does it ever die? I don't know. Well, I just chopped the battery out of it. That's a pretty heavy duty battery. Will it run out of battery? It could. This is all the technology inside of it with the motherboard. The chips inside. You can definitely see the chips. To make a shot from anywhere on the court. Is it magic or is it magnets? Tiny magnets placed on the ball, ensuring a strong attraction to the metal rim. Watch. And when Baron needs more magnets, Baron gets more magnets. Don't believe me? Watch the NBA playoffs and you'll see there's really no other explanation. Now we all know whenever you shoot a basketball, it's supposed to bounce off the rim if it doesn't go in. 
assuming you don't airball or flat out brick off the backboard. Now, I would love for somebody to explain this shot to me. Nigga, the ball is sitting on the top of the rim. It didn't bounce. And to all the trolls that love to say, oh, it's just physics, that's what a ball did that. I would love for you to physics your way out of this one, bitch. If you really think there's not magnets in this shit after watching these, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I played basketball my entire life, and not once has this ever happened shooting the ball. The ball doesn't sit this long on the front of the rim and go in. If you say it does, you just playing 2K and you got a glitch. Now to this next one, this shit is just ridiculous. The dude airballs a free throw. Clearly doesn't have range. Airballs the three, confirms he doesn't have range. Now watch the half court shot. Sinks it, really, really. If you get that first rebound, because the block gives you 2.1 seconds, doing. and there is Anthony Davis. Well, you got to follow him. No. Yeah, there was no screen, Pumley. You got to yeah, follow him. Yeah, there ain't no screen. Yeah, that was a magnet. Man. <laughs> first buzzer beater for AD. Now watch this shot by Anthony Davis. He had a fadeaway three-pointer. As you can see, this shot is short, way short. Now, as you can see from the basketball's trajectory, at the last minute, it starts to drift to our right to go in the basket. Now, listen to what former NBA player Josh Smith has to say about magnets in the rims while he's watching this Sixers game. Ice Trey said he the fourth member of the Migos, man. Look, look, they got a magnet on the rim. That wasn't even supposed to go in. Look at him, now he hurt. Look at him, see what happened? See what happened when you get your ass kicked? Shit hurt a little worse, boy. Shit hurt a little worse. Look, they got a magnet on the rim. That wasn't even supposed to go in.